Hi, welcome back to Moose and Chemistry. This is going to be a thermochemistry problem with Hess Law. Hess Law is a pretty interesting 19th century way of kind of combining equations. Um, go, let's look at this first problem. Coal gasification converts coal into a combustible mixture of carbon monoxide, hydrogen called coal gas. Now given the equation H2O liquid plus C solid yields carbon monoxide gas plus hydrogen gas, what is our delta H value? Okay. Well, first things first, we have to have that, we have the original equation that we see right here. Okay. And then we're going to have what we call three sub-equations. Now, we're going to try to take these three sub-equations and make it into this equation here. All right, so it's going to be a little bit of magic, a little bit of razzle-dazzle, flipping things, dividing things. It's going to be pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and clear all those things I just drew in there real quickly. Yes, yes, let's go. And All right, so here we go. So the first thing first, we want to divide. Um, we're going to want to, A, see this H2O over here? That's H2O of gas. And we've got uh, H2 gas here, right? So you see that? You see that right there? We want to get this guy right here on the opposite side so we can cancel that H2 gas. So we're going to want to do something called flip the equation. Okay? So we're going to flip the equation. So let's see what we're going to do here. This is really complex, so just kind of follow along. I'll try to go a little bit slow. So I'm going to erase this equation here, and I'm going to flip it. Flipping it means I'm going to write it the opposite direction, okay? So when I flip that equation, it's going to give me uh, 2H2O yields 2H2 plus O2, this is a gas, this is a gas, and of course, um, this is a gas. All right. Now, what I want to do is this. I got twos in common up here, so I want to divide, and then when I flip the equation, I have to change the sign. So I change that to a positive. All right, now, Notice that the C here doesn't have anything in front of it, so it's just a 1, right? So we have to divide everything by 2. So we're going to divide this by a half, and we're also going to divide this by a half because our H2O liquid doesn't have um, uh, 2 in it, right? So it's here. 2 cancels out, the 2 cancels out. This is going to give me 1 half oxygen, and this is also going to give me, let's see here. So divide that top by two. Oh, I had a two in front of the CO2 hangover for just a second. Not there, sorry. I copied one thing down wrong. I had a two here, right? So that's going to cancel that two out. So when I do that, it's going to give me a brand new equation. And when I do that, I also have to divide this by two. So let me go ahead and fix this first equation up here. And like I said, this is, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So my 2 gets canceled out, right? And then, of course, my oxygen, hang on for just a second, it's going to become 1 half O here, 1 half O2, put the gas there. And, like I said, this is not friendly. It's going to take a while to get used to. And that's simply going to give me CO there. Okay, so let me make sure I get this all correctly here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. I mean, <laughs> after all, this is pretty interesting and confusing. So, um, let's see here. So, we got plus one half. Let me close that up. And this would be O2. Whoops. don't know why I did that there, but it did. And this is going to give me simply um, CO. All right, now, 
So when I divide this by one half, the second equation, okay, that's going to give me just H2O on that side there. My, um, this is going to give me, of course, one half oxygen here. This is going to give me two over two. Um, so that's going to be really interesting. And that's just going to give me one simple hydrogen. So this is going to be, let's see here, let me get a eraser here. And we're going to clean this up. And of course, we have to divide this by um, one half also. Okay. So now, um, let's see here. Hmm. Let's see. I know this is so much fun. Actually, it's not that bad once you get used to it. But getting used to it is kind of crazy. So this gives me H2 gas plus uh, one half O2. And that's not an equal sign there. So let me get this eraser one more time here. I don't know why I wrote equals there. Uh, it's going to be yield. Uh, uh, let's see here. CO gas. Yeah. Okay. So now we know we divide that by 2, we divide that by 2. So now, let's get rid of things that we don't need. So we don't need H2O gas in this liquid. So I'm going to change the ink color just to show you how this is going to go. We're going to make this a red. So, so this H2O gas is going to eliminate this H2O gas. So they're gone. This one half oxygen is going to get rid of that one half oxygen, right? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the equation as we see. We're going to add 1, 2, and 3 up. Okay? So to do that, we're going to need a couple of things here. First of all, I need to change the color of my ink again back to black. And we're going to need to change a couple of things. Remember we said we divide this by 2? So that H delta H value is now going to be uh, negative 111 kilojoules. And again, I know this is kind of confusing, and it takes a while. That 44 positive is going to be 242. So let me go ahead and clear that one out. It's giving me positive 242. And this last one's unaffected. All right. Now, let's go ahead and let's add all this up. So we have H2O liquid. It's starting to look like the equation that we originally started with. Okay. Um, this is carbon. And what's most amazing is they figured this out in the 19th century. That's the 1800s. I mean, talk about some pretty cool stuff. Okay, now we're going to get CO, because that CO is on this side right here. You see it right there? CO gas there. And then, of course, we're going to have, uh, let's see here, our hydrogen. Let's see here. Remember, this was 2 over 2, right? So that canceled out my hydrogen. That's right. So I got rid of my hydrogen. So this guy got canceled out. So wait a minute, let me do one thing here. This guy got canceled out when we went the two over two, we got rid of it. So that gave us that. And then we got rid of that. Actually, no, hang on. I know what I, I was just reading something wrong, hang on. So that hydrant actually stays there. Sorry about that. And so now that gives us CO plus our hydrogen. Okay, gas. Now, here's the cool thing. Now we had to add all our changes up. And we add all our changes up. Our delta H value is going to equal a positive 175 kilojoules. Well, that's it for this lesson. I hope you guys understand that. We're going to be doing more of these as uh, the time goes on. And you guys be snarly. 
And with the exception of this hydrogen here, which I meant to keep in the beginning, everything went pretty good. So you guys be snarling. We'll see you back here at Moosing Chemistry.